with the new Republican administration coming into office tomorrow, Virginia will have its first ever woman of color as its lieutenant governor. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you tonight to break down the historical significance behind Winsome Sears' new role. Lieutenant Governor-elect Winsome Sears has been first in a lot of things in her life, and now she will be Virginia's first female president of the Senate. What you are looking at is the American dream. Sears is a former member of the House of Delegates and proud veteran of the Marine Corps. She will be the first black woman to hold statewide office in Virginia's history. I am not even first generation American. When I joined the Marine Corps, I was still a Jamaican, but this country had done so much for me. I was willing, willing to die for this country. But Sears will have a unique role in the Senate this year, according to 10 News political analyst Dr. Ed Lynch. While she will oversee the Senate day to day, the Democratic Party still has the majority. She will have a say in determining what comes up and when it comes up and how the debate goes. She can participate uh, under certain circumstances. If there's a tie, she breaks the tie. So she's got certain powers that will be with her in that office. Lynch says Sears will also play an important part of the new Yunkin administration as they work with both legislative bodies to get bills to the governor-elect's desk. It's going to be about negotiating with moderate Democrat senators. It's going to be about finding a halfway point. Sears says she hopes she can inspire others to follow their dreams all across the Commonwealth. I didn't run to make history. I just wanted to leave it better than I found it. Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.